Okay. Alright, so the person on the internet said that you should cut off all dying vines because all vines that have been wilted and stuff, like, I think this one's pretty healthy, but another symptom of it is that your squash or any pepo, like fruits that you're growing, will probably be targeted by this bug and it will cause disformation and um, death probably of your stuff. And I know it's a common thing in cucumbers, but I think it's also, there's a pretty flower there that could have done, but um, where is it? Here it is. Down there, your baby cucumbers will die and you'll probably not get any more cucumbers. So. It's been a good cucumber year though. Yeah, we've got yeah. tons of them. Lots of delicious cucumbers. Wait, Mommy, can you cut off that one cucumber so I can show you? This one has definitely been hit by it, and the people said that once you have these bugs, that um, you, you can't get rid of them, really. And, I mean, it, it's hard, it's heavy, it's pretty good, but just the fact that it's yellow and, like, swollen, this one has been like this for a long time. So, yeah. All dying vines go. Let's build a gust in there. The cucumber season. Yeah, I guess. It's just the end of the season once you get these bugs everywhere. Can you show them that curled up one? Too. Yeah, yeah, I showed that one there. The, those two cucumbers were perfect examples of both symptoms. And here it's just been tangled up in this poor bush here. Jeez. I'd acted as a good trellis. Yeah, I remember the first cucumber we had. Remember that where we had to like dig around the bush? Like, why aren't there cucumbers yet? Like. And m mommy said it was like a pickle in a Christmas tree. Like mm -hmm. you had to, um, like it, it was way back there, like in the very back of the bush. And it was so fun finding it. There's that little bit of striped chia here. The basil, and we have a nice fig. I don't know if you can see that one. Yeah, we can't really fertilize though because it's so wet. It's just been raining all day, every day. <laughs> like all that. day. Yep. Here, can I show them the rest of the pumpkins that we planted? Yes, go on. Okay. Alright, here we have the other pumpkins. This flower is huge. I mean, like, that's the size of my hand. Like, right there. That's like the size of my palm and bigger. And, I mean, there are even bigger flowers over there on those bushes. You can see that one. But... Yeah, and I think the reason, because these were planted, I think, even before the ones in the pot, and these are doing so much better, and we think it's because the roots are warmer in the pots, and these are just not warmer in the pots, because they're not in pots, that's why. And here we think of Lantana. It's just grew up wild, and we never really cut it down. And yeah, so it's just about to bloom here, I think. It's pink and or peachy. This thing's over five feet tall now. That, it, it, mm, that's crazy. And it still hasn't bloomed yet. It's been here forever. We also spray painted a stick, like an ugly shade of green, but it still looks pretty. And I got it in the common area over there, and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for the gnome garden. And this is now dying, which is sad, and the cornflower was beautiful. And here we have all sorts of pretty stuff. Oh, look, a butterfly. Oh, oh I wanted to film you. <laughs> okay. And tons and tons of tomatoes. And here's a perfect one, right here. These are hybrid 100 super sweet tomatoes, so they taste delicious. Beautiful, and we have tons of them. Also, which is getting ripe. Oh, here. These things were grown from seed <laughs> from the kitchen. 
I I was so like I want to grow peppers. I want to grow peppers so badly that I just like no pesticide. Well, we had to use a bit of the seven to get the cucumber beetles off of this thing. So I guess they attack these two. I don't know if these are peppers or what they call it, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but I, I don't know. Does anybody out there know if peppers are peppers <laughs> and, and tomatoes, maybe? Because I want to know. I want to know if those are peppers. And if you don't know what a pepper is, that's a, um, a, what you might call it, a berry with a thick or, like, very tough rind. So, yes, melons and squashes are berries. Which does sound weird sometimes. But I'll see. Here we have a bag. Oh, wait! Yeah, it's light colored. Very light colored. It's not dark enough. It's got a good weight, but. Yeah. It's a sick plant. I'm tired of producing <laughs> so many cucumbers. We want stuff. It's funny. You could try that one, but I think it would be bitter. Yeah. It, it'll also make them taste bad if, if you get to it. You want to try it anyway? Or? Yeah, let's just try that one. I got a red nose. Tons of Maybe this one's typical for the bacterial. Oh, yeah. That, 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 that sounds, sounds like good. mosaic tile. It does. That's because those evil little bugs have been eating <laughs> all over. Organic farming, what is it? No, it isn't. I love that little song, it's funny. I think there are more peppers that I also grew from seed. Those ones over there took, I mean, like months upon months of stuff. Yeah, here's some more peppers that I grew from seed in the kitchen. And these ones over here took forever to like grow up bigger than this. I thought they were stunted, but I just planned them at the wrong time of the year. And I'm wearing my pajamas. <laughs> and they're flowering. They have really pretty polypetalous polypetalous flowers. And um yeah. I think they look beautiful and they're just producing yeah, there's a little baby pepper. But they take forever to get red, it's crazy. Over here by the fountain, this pretty fountain that we got from Mummy and Daddy's anniversary, we have morning glories over this thing that Daddy made out of rebar metal, which is very, very useful. We have morning glories, and I love the morning glories, and we also have jessamine. And the morning glories, they will choke out your jessamine, but um, they're very pretty anyway. These are from Fairy Morse, and back here somewhere, oh dear. No, I don't want to get that. These things are so delicate. Um, can you see? There is like a hole. And down there is like the style. Oh my gosh. Just oh, zoomed in. Um, and something's getting in there. And I remember in the old school, we learned about robber wasps. And those were things that went to the back of your flowers and ate the egg where the seeds would be formed in the ovary and they, they'll just kill the plant, they just kill all the flowers so it can't reproduce and you have to buy more seeds so yeah it's really sad so in here we're going to try and figure out what these are they're probably not robber wasps though because I don't think we have those here in South Carolina but, well, they're pretty morning glories I like them I like how it uses the um, shrubs as a vine, as a support. Yeah. Yeah, the pumpkins are nice. You should show them the ones up front. We, we, we planted like all the pumpkin seeds. And yeah, we, we couldn't find the places for all of them. So we have one right here next to Daddy's Mother of Thousands. And I don't know what the real names are of those. But these are the ones that don't ever flower, I don't think. They just evolve not to flower. And they're these, like, thick things, and they produce that little 
tiny things on their leaves, which are cute and pretty. And we're hoping that they'd be good for ground cover. And we have hummingbirds all around the Rosa Sharon. Best plant in the garden. You can see why they like them, too. Look at the zinnia! Oh, they're beautiful. I didn't really like them. I got these for Mother's Day for Mommy. And I mean, they're huge. Yeah, I'm going in and taking a shower. Okay. Here we have more mothers of thousands, and they have gotten huge so quickly. Pineapple, which we planted a while ago. Spider plants, the mama spider plant that my friend Annabelle gave me from the Virgin Islands. This thing, I grew up from something smaller than one of those. And, oh my gosh, it was so happy. It's, it's beautiful. Lemons, rosemary, wild strawberry. Yeah, everything's doing well. All right, in here we have the hummingbird feeder, which is usually filled with red nectar that the hummingbirds love. Like, love, love. Um, and here are the last three cucumbers that we picked from that plant. They're, they're huge, first of all. And, I mean, they're really nice. They're, they taste good. Sort of sweet. And they're organic, first of all, until we sprayed today. And just decided to cut the plant down and figured out what it was. Now I know I know it looks like this is sort of swollen up right here, but that's just the light from the lights up there somewhere. Yeah, right there. But yeah, three healthy cucumbers. <laughs> and here we have some of the tomatoes that we picked. We've been eating them. Apples. We did not grow those, by the way. Those are too good to be grown organically. Yeah.